coast to coast. Clear the runway, he's coming in. It's a helicopter slam jam. He's gonna pull up from three, count. Watch this guy go. Triple drive, backs it in and gets it. From the Macon Coliseum and the Macon Centerplex, it is championship number four to be decided here on day one of the Dr. Ralph Swearing and GHSA Basketball Championships. It is a battle of Region 4 versus Region 3. Liberty County coming in with a record of 28 and 4, going up against the Jonesboro Cardinals, chasing a three-peat, coming in with a record of 27 and 1. I am John, this is Sean. Thanks for accessing us however you were doing so, whether it's GPB TV, GPB.org, or the GPB Sports app. Sean, when we're discussing these two teams chasing after a quad A title, it is first timer versus the veteran. You know, John, we, we've talked about that before in the opening. You know, coming here for the third opportunity with Jonesboro with a chance to win three in a row, that's special. I mean, that's something these kids have something to really hang their hat on. But you really got to understand that the community is supporting them. Everybody's behind Jonesboro getting here. But then at the same time, Liberty County, John, Liberty County here getting here for the first time. There's a little nervousness now. They really want this really bad. And they've got to enjoy the process, enjoy the atmosphere. And now you got a chance to make it happen. All right, let's talk about the team chasing after the three-peat. Last team to do it was Miller Grove. And we saw Miller Grove knock off six in a row at one point. And with Jonesboro, the national sophomore of the year has turned into one of the most sought after juniors in the country in MJ Walker. Yeah, you talk about a young man, John, he's a stud, a 6'5", uh, just about 190, he can do it all. Averaging close to 24 points a game, just really a good player to watch and a great team player, a great leader, and he's really maturing. You have a lot of effort there for MJ Walker. Now for the flip side in Liberty County, let's talk about two kids who are probably one in the same. They're, they're the same brain. They've been playing together since they were nine and 10 years old. It's Davion Mitchell and Richard LeCount. Yeah, to the left, you see Davion Mitchell committed to Auburn University, one of the top 11 point guards in the nation. And you have LeCount there getting stretched out, a 21 uh, point per game stud, a five-star stud, committed to Georgia to play football. Combined, John, they're averaging over 46 points a game. You're looking at about 60% of the points from Liberty County coming through these two. What a night we have. There's a lot of Georgia football ties to that Liberty County squad. Third member of our broadcast team will be patrolling the sidelines. It is Sam Crenshaw. And Sam, what's this about a young coach and a, and a coach who's been there for a while? Let's talk about coaching by the numbers tonight, shall we? Coach, coach Melman, Melman has been at Jonesboro. He arrived there in the year 2000. He became the head coach in 2005. So he's been there 16 seasons, and now he's going for a three-peat, a third consecutive state championship. On the other hand, in Liberty County, Julian Stokes, was he graduated from Liberty County in 2010. 2010, and he's back as a head coach of this team, so he's going to get them the first state championship. Oh, by the way, let me show you something. Come over here. We turn, 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 turn. Auburn coach Bruce Pearl in the house behind me here. He wants to check this game out tonight. Yeah, Sam, no doubt about it. Bruce Pearl is keeping an eye on Davion Mitchell. Davion Mitchell right now averaging 25, 4, and 7 as the junior who will be running the point for Liberty County. Julian Stokes at the age of 24. There, there's the War Eagle. Figured that was going to get one of those in by the time it was done. And let's take a look at Liberty starters. Starting lineups brought to us by our friends at Regions Bank. You see 5 and 23 of the same brain. Davion Mitchell and Richard LeCount. Jalon Frazier, Will Richardson, who's going to Georgia Southern to play football, and also Jai Sean Harris. That is your Liberty County starting five. Brought to us by our friends at Regions Bank. It's time to expect more. And the defending, defending champ, Jonesboro. It is MJ Walker, Eric Lovett, who came in from Alabama two years ago after his sophomore season. Now a strong senior, Tyreek Jenkins, Kenneth Qualls, and Jamari Smith. 23-2, 0-11, and 1-4. Jonesboro. Let's take a look at the keys to the game. Sean, brought to us by our friends in the Technical College System of Georgia. Hey, hey, John, talk to Coach Mayo. I mean, defensive intensity, that's their bread and butter. It's not offense. This team wants to will you off their defense. They've got to execute, John. 
have to come out and be ready. It can't just be MJ Walker. It's going to be a team effort tonight, John. Speaking of team efforts, what about the Panthers from Liberty County? Hey, Mitchell got to have a good game, John. This young man, you know, everybody knows that he is kind of the catalyst to getting this Liberty team to a championship. He's got to have a big team, a big game. But the other two, John, the other two, LeCount and Richardson, they have to be ready to play. This is a first championship, John, the first appearance in the school history. you got to enjoy this. Enjoy the excitement of being in the championship game. And that's one of the things that Julian Stokes has impressed upon his kids, to enjoy the experience. Don't worry about what's going on. He knows that this is a beautiful opportunity. That's his word. Maybe a lot of folks at the age of 24 may have thought that a 24-year-old wasn't ready to be a high school head basketball coach, but guess what? 27 and one, first year out of the blocks. He was an assistant last year under Willie Graham. Graham retired. And let's find out what both coaches had to say to their squads before this game tonight. It's no pressure. It's no pressure. It's another game. All right. It's just another game. We're gonna go out there and do what we do. And we're going to walk away with this title tonight. Woodward. 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 Woodward.
both free throws. Back comes Jonesboro. Tyrese Jenkins, zero. Moving off to MJ Walker. Very quick on the reset up high. Jenkins. Help on the perimeter. Gets it from Qualls to his left and run rotation. Qualls inside. Cooper Smith. Nothing allowed in the paint so far by Liberty County. Jumper outside guard. It's the big time shot, John. Just love it. Stepping up and stroking the three. You can tell, hey. <laughs> He's got a lot of confidence in his stroke, and he's going to show something tonight, John. Half of the games this year, Eric Lovett has at least three or more three-point jumpers. Off to that start tonight. Jumper from the outside, matches the three, and off the rim, no good. Here comes Jonesboro again. Jenkins looking to drive, spin, kick to the corner, three-pointer. Off the rim, no good. Liberty County. Said the pass intercepted, but they're going to try it again. Cross court. Thought about it, Davion Mitchell. Into the paint, McCown block. Jonesboro with the save, but into Liberty County hands. High off the glass, count it the foul. He had a three point play the old fashioned way, John. Offensive rebound, and Frazier just being there in the right place at the right time with a chance to go down for three, give the chair to strike. On Jamari Smith, it's his second. He has to sit early. Zarek Cooper comes in off the bench, and if that name's familiar to you, dressed number three in white, your star quarterback from the football team who signed with Clemson. Grabs the rebound. Free throw was missed. We're at 3 2. Liberty County won for their first seven. out of bounds in the state of Jones. And John, I'm, I'm looking at how they're defending MJ. They're trying to deny him the ball, but when he gets it, we're going to trap him on the ball screens and make sure we get the ball out of his hands so he can't be as effective. Way back to Tyreek Jenkins in the backcourt for the inbound so they can reset. There's a trap again. Looks like as soon as they cut the court in half, we're going to trap MJ Walker. Shot off the win, no good. Rebound, Liberty County. Here's Mitchell again. Ball. Drive. Off the glass, up and in. Good by Will Richardson. Now, well done. Yeah, we talked about the two headed monster earlier, but Richardson is that third part of it that when he's hot, John, he's hot. Averaging 13 points a game as a sophomore. Made a good move to the basket, very confident with the scoop for the layup. Liberty with the lead at 4-3, coming up on the halfway point here of the first quarter. Jumper outside for three, off the rim, no good. Rebound picked up again, Jalon Frazier, and here comes Liberty County in transition. Mitchell, pull up, jumper, short. Here comes Jonesboro quickly, they've got numbers, it's four on two. And instead of the pick, they're going to call the foul on Mitchell. John, just good basketball. Here's a southpaw being smooth to the basket, avoiding the charge. You know, he's a good player, John, and they're definitely going to need Richardson to win this game tonight. Protecting the ball with the body on the drive up. Walker patrolling the perimeter, and they'll bring it back to Tyreek Jenkins to reset. But, John, if you watch Liberty County, how they defend the Walker is special. They're trying to deny him the ball, number one, but they're playing off of John. They're playing off of Qualls. They're not looking at him as an offensive threat. Another foul outside the arc. That's going to go on Richardson. That's his second foul early on, and it's going to be a three-shot foul. But before MJ Walker takes his three free throws, we are right at the halfway point of the first quarter. Liberty County with the early lead as both teams try to size the other up here at the Macon Coliseum and the Macon Centerplex on GPB. 
like video games is all about getting to the next level. Mastering skills, gaining knowledge, and setting goals are crucial to success in both. Coming out of high school and jumping into manufacturing, I started here on the floor hands-on. and I just worked really hard and tried to learn everything that I could, and I advanced pretty quickly. I think there's definitely a place for women in manufacturing. Georgia Department of Education's Career Pathway courses give you the chance to power up your future. More information is at georgiasfutureworkforce.org. Welcome back, Megan Coliseum, Megan Centerplex, halfway through the first quarter, Liberty County with the early 4-3 lead on defending, defending champ Jonesboro here at the Friday Final. Let's figure out how these two teams got to this particular moment in time. The road to the championship brought to us by our friends at Georgia EMC. Lighting the way, Jonesboro had a 34-point win over Worth County. Snuck past Carrollton, 51-50, beat Westover by two, and then Grady, a tough defensive effort by the Cardinals, had them win by 28. On the flip side, Liberty County knocked off Howard. And you see something on the left-hand side of all those wins, they're playing in the 70s and the 80s. 26 points, 18 points, 10 points, and 13 points. They got it to a 16-0 lead against Lithonia in the semis and put up 81 on the board. Well, you can see the track meet we have in front of us, John. Liberty County and Jonesburg definitely want to play aggressive, be in attack mode, shooting a three, attacking the rim. So both teams are athletic enough to play that style. Now shots are going to start falling around. They've got good players on the court, John, and I'm really enjoying watching this game so far. Not, not much, John, sorry, not much to talk about in the first four minutes. Uh, just the jitters having to come out. Liberty start 0-6 from the field, now hit their last two or three. So it's just getting the jitters out, John, and, and so both teams can relax and calm down. Jonesboro on the flip side, one of their first five. First free throws up and in, and we're tied at four. One of the top ten players in the nation, John, here, MJ Walker. I mean, it's going to be Hollis touted. You know, everybody wants to sign him. Just a pure, pure stroke, a pure athlete. Uh, but Coach Melman says that he's a better leader. And the way that he's matured, John, right there in front of his eyes is a credit to what this young man and his family, he can curse his mom and his dad, how much they really encourage this young man to do the right thing. First two years on the program, he was in the background. But now he's the kind of guy when they practice at 6.45 in the morning, he'll be there to sweep the floor for him. Three free throws in the book, 6-4 lead. Jumper off the side of the rim, no good. Liberty County will save. Dangerous pass to try to get a second opportunity. They're going to call a block on the drive through. That's yes, a good call by the officials there. The defense was late. Great drive. So, uh, John, you've got to attack the paint, especially in a game like this, John. Everything can't be on the perimeter. Getting to the paint, that's a fantastic job by Harris. Now it's getting to the line for two. Fouls called on Zero Cooper, his first. First free throw up and in. First point in the book for Jashon Harris. Missed the second. Rebound Eric Lovett. You can see that Tyreek Jenkins thought about a drive, but then with the 1-4 high, they're laying off. Got better of it, and they're going to work the perimeter now. Andrew drive, blocked on the way in, and it looks like out of bounds off Jenkins, back to Liberty County. Yeah, John, that's the straight defense there uh, by Joe, by, by uh, um, Liberty County, just con uh, connected on the ball, John, there in the paint. The count with the hand on the ball, and it goes... Off Jenkins, out of bounds, and back come the Panthers. Gavion Mitchell, long three off the rim. MJ Walker, the rebound. Here comes Tyreek Jenkins, long outlet. Square up three, short again. Liberty County, same, two guys. Here comes transition again. This is what we expected. Off the glass, up and in, easy two. Richard LeCount. Hey, LeCount's a fast, athletic, attack the rim type of player, John. Playing really good. Here's a skill in transition. Thought about the corner jumper. Now square and fire, wind out, no good. LeCount going for the save. Great defensive play, stays with the Panthers. LeCount's a special player, John. Haven't had a chance to see him all season long. He's going to be a defensive stud at the University of Georgia. But one thing this kid is, he is athletic, he is active, and he is relentless. Crowning Zarek Cooper with the ball. So Liberty County can keep possession. And they're going to call a foul on the inside on the drive by Davion Mitchell. 
you got to play a lot of account, John, on your team. You know, he can he can definitely create a mismatch on the defensive end because how quick and athletic he is and how he pursues the basketball. That's called on Kenneth Qualls. It'll be his first block on the inside by Lovett. Nice no call down low by the officials. Nice block by Lovett. Rudy County all the way up high. Down around the screen, going past MJ Walker. High shot, no good. Whistle on the inside. Block called on Jonesboro. Well, John, if you're looking from the outside in, you wouldn't say that this is Liberty County's first trip to the big dance to the championship, right? Because they're playing relaxed. They're attacking the rim. They're playing their game. And Jonesboro, you know, they're playing on their heels just a little bit. Not much, John, but just a little bit. Liberty County with a one-point lead, now a two. They throw up an inviolate count. His third point of the day. Stay at three. Rebound by Lovett. Back comes Jonesboro. Liberty up 8-6. Coming up on two minutes to go here. Tyreek Jenkins. And Jay Walker. Walls looking to drive. He does. Block on high by Jalen Frazier. And look for Coach Melman to sub falls out to get a little better shooter. Ball's got subbed out. Jonesboro, one of their first seven. Trying to get an isolation with MJ on the inside. And That was a great hands. A lot of traffic inside for deflections, but he was as strong with the basketball was able to finish it too. The count fires. Got it. I'm telling you, John, I love the count, man. He's fearless. He's relentless out here on the court. Coming back the other way. They get the tip in that time. Zarek Cooper. We're coast to coast now. The count pulls up again. Hey, John. Butter is on the roll, baby. His nickname is Butter because he's on the roll. Defensively, he's doing it. Offensively, he's doing it. That kid is doing it tonight. The count found his groove with two straight threes. Liberty County up by four. MJ, rim, saved. Liberty County coming back. A lot of traffic in the middle of the floor. There's LeCount. Let's see what he does. Stripped. Here comes Tyreek Jenkins with it. Too much English on it. Out of bounds. Offensive execution, John. We talked about it for Jonesboro. Their key. Offensive execution. You had a three-on-two opportunity right there in the fast break. Turnover. You just can't have that in the championship game. You would think Liberty County would play for the last shot. But knowing the way that their offense has been, if there's an open shot, they'll take it. Well, John, you don't become 27 and 1 just making bad decisions here late game. I think they'll wait and try to take the last shot. Tyreek Reese knows that that was on him. He was trying to get a pass to Davion Mitchell for the last shot. Wafted it a little too much. 5 8 point guard on the Liberty County seniors. So 10 seconds to go here in the first. Thought about a give and go. Now it's back to MJ Walker. Creating inside. Shot off the rim. No good. Rebound Liberty County. Just a heave. Nowhere close. And that's the first eight minutes. Liberty County behind Richard LeCount. Bruce Pearl in the house. He's making sure that he keeps an eye on Davion Mitchell as he heads to the Plains. The Panthers are up four, staring at the two-time champs and not blinking after the first eight minutes on GPB. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following.
This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. On Masterpiece, it's time to say farewell. If reason fails, try force. Everyone has a chance. Oh, my God. The final episode. We're sisters, and sisters have secrets. Downton Abbey, the final episode on Masterpiece. Sunday at 9 on GPB. Jackie Robinson was the greatest athlete in American history. But he knew it wasn't enough. This land is your land. Jack, you felt an obligation to speak up. From Ken Burns. If you only know the legend, you don't know the man. From California. Nothing prepares you better for a great career than the technical college system of Georgia. TCSG colleges produce graduates with the knowledge and training today's top employers are looking for. With campuses across Georgia, state-of-the-art facilities, and outstanding instructors with real-world experience, it's the kind of affordable college education that will fast-track you into a rewarding career. We're building a better future for you. Contact the TCSG college in your area today or go to tcsg.edu. Welcome back, Macon Coliseum, Macon Centerplex getting ready for the start of the second quarter. Liberty County up four on Jonesboro, and Sam Crenshaw, Jonesboro's in an unfamiliar place in the state of Georgia. Absolutely, and Coach Dan Melman talking to his team in the huddle. He's saying you guys got to go back out there and go to work. They're outworking you, and that's why you're trailing in this game right now. Go back on the floor and keep them off the boards. They get in second, third opportunities. You got to end that when we go back on the floor right now. Let's watch for it. Thank you very much, Sam. First impressions of the first eight minutes from you? Well, John, if you digest what's happened, you've got the hunted and you've got the hunter. Jones Burrow's been hunted, going for three in a row, able to count it. They're the hunters. They want that first championship. Officials for the game, Daryl Lane, Ryan Wingers, and Drew Bruton. They're the ones in charge of the whistles here. Liberty County with two touchdowns on the board in the first eight minutes, up four. Jonesboro in the first quarter, only 3 of 11 from the floor. Liberty County off to a rough start, but LeCount's two threes. They were 4 for 14, 29%. Tyreek Jenkins looking to drive. Cross for a three. Count it. Sarah Cooper. John, we go back to our keys again. Role players have to step up. Cooper hitting that three will allow Jonesboro to be a little bit more active and not just focus on MJ Walker. Nice off the right hit, tip no. Second, third chance, Jonesboro trying to bring it back out. Qualls goes into the Liberty bench, look out. Yeah, Qualls just, you know, sacrificing his body, John, just trying to play hard, give something. They're playing off of him on the defense, so they're giving him the ability, John, to make plays. He's just not an offensive threat. At some point in time, Coach Melman is going to have to make a kind of strategic substitution on the offensive end and see if they can actually create a more balanced attack um, here in the half court. Kick to the corner, three count it. We talked about him, John. He's the actually third part of the big three here for Liberty County, averaging 13 points a game. Double team down low, Qualls drive. LeCount had the block idea, but Liberty County makes it another one and done for Jonesboro. Drive, kick, nice shield with the body, doesn't get the roll and call a charge. And John, I just watched that segment. MJ Walker got bailed out. He reached here in the transition. His teammate helped him out on the defensive end. And those are the kind of plays that when you say role players have to step up, not just on the offensive end, John, on the defensive end as well. Great play there uh, by Jenkins. Tyreek Reese called for the charge. That's his second foul. Something to keep an eye on is the backup point. Liberty 
County still maintains that four point lead and that 40 in to the second quarter. Spin move, baseline, got somebody up in the air and a foul. Marshall Washington up in the air that time. Washington, the senior, that's his first, heading to Georgia Southern to play football. But part of the Liberty County basketball squad as well. Let's take a look. Nice spin move, good footwork. Great job there by Cooper. But Jim, we talked about the substitution that Coach Merriman made, and what he did, he went big, John. They put Mosley in the 6-6, six, six, stir it down low um, uh, for, for Paul. So now Liberty County has to match up with everyone instead of playing four against five. Now it's more of a five-on-five -five matchup, man-to-man. -man. Tyreek Reese will sit with his two fouls. Jalon Frazier comes back in. Violation call, wave off the free throw, we'll bring it back the other way. Looks like they call it on Jamari Mosley. Tyreek Jenkins now taking a turn guarding Davion Mitchell. Richardson way out. Long attempted at a jumper, just hits the rim. Liberty County gets a second chance. Mitchell thought about it, comes back out with it. LeCount driving. Off the rim, no. Second chance bucket again, this time Jalon Frazier. That's just energy done. That's just energy being in the right place at the right time. And it's so much uh, being focused on the penetration, John, that the putback opportunities are there for Liberty County. Jenkins drive almost got his pocket picked from behind. Take a look at what happened down low. See, there's a count coming to the basket, John. You got to have that weak side rebounding there. Was it there? That's Fraser John with the putback. It's good basketball uh, in great position there by by Liberty County. The count's first foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A six-point lead. MJ Walker. Rim, no. Fraser yeah. hit the floor. Looks like they're going to call a foul on Jonesboro on the reach. That foul's going to be on Jamari Mosley. And John, you got to take this into consideration. <laughs> You've got LeCount, who is a five star free safety. Yep. Okay? He's playing the number 10 player in the nation. He's not getting open that easy against a five, one of the top defensive uh, players in the nation football wise. Hey, you want to lock down safety? Yeah. That's what you need in a game like this. Off the rim, no. Same team fighting for it. Zarek Cooper comes out with an intercepted LeCount. He'll fire. Exactly what I said, John. Here's a guy that's going to defend you. He's going to play with energy. He's just going to rattle MJ Walker, getting the steal, hitting the three. Tyreek Jenkins with the drive of the two. Cuts it back to seven. Richardson looking to drive on Jenkins. Crossover. Kicked it back to Washington. To Davion Mitchell. Trying to find some way to get into the tank. Finally does. Kicks it back out. Richardson. Foul on Liberty. Something calling it on Jalon Frazier. That'll be his first. And John Liberty County, John, they are just playing with so much passion right now. And you look at Jonesboro, everybody from Jonesboro, John, is bending over. They haven't been in a fight like this, John, for a long time. And you've got a lot of basketball to play. And up on the halfway point here in the second quarter. Jared Cooper gets the front end. Coach Mailman just said 3-2. Yeah, look for a little matchup zone, John. Try to force Liberty County to play on the perimeter, give them the outside shot, and that way you won't put your defensive guys in foul trouble. One for two for Zarek Cooper. Mitchell will bring it up the floor. 
There's the zone. They're matching up. Zone breaker pass, LeCount, give and go. Had it knocked away. Jonesboro coming back to three on three. Jenkins, right hand. Yeah, great job on Jenkins. Just being anticipating there in the zone. Um, good deflection, nice finish there in the transition. Richardson out high this time, picked up by Jenkins. Point catcher, Davion Mitchell. LeCount missed the three that time. Long outlet by the quarterback. Two passes later, and they missed the layup. Numbers is there. Off the rim, no, and it's going to come back the other way. Session when we come back. 3.01 to go here in the first half. Liberty County's hanging with Jonesboro. The Cardinals are in a fight. Down four on the great GPB. Stay with us. Providing safe, affordable, and reliable electricity requires more than bucket trucks and utility poles. These are the faces behind your power. For more than 75 years, Georgia's nonprofit, member owned electric cooperatives have been on a mission to brighten the lives of more than four and a half million Georgians. We are Georgia's EMCs, proudly serving our members, lighting the way. Welcome back, 3.01 to go here first half. Liberty County has a four point lead on Jonesboro, thanks to the buddies. Sue and Seth in the back row. Let's take a look at 23's night. John, again, a five-star free safety, one of the top defensive players in the nation football-wise. He has a motor. I mean, watch him. He's all over the place offensively. He's making shots defensively. He's getting steals, things that he's comfortable and accustomed to doing, John. And he's making this Jonesboro team. He's wearing them down, John. That's what he's doing because he's doing so much on the defensive end and offensive end. It's not fatiguing. And that's tough, John, when you got to go against a guy like that, especially your MJ Walker, who you're accustomed to be the dominant player on the team, the dominant athlete, athlete on the court. Here's a guy that's just as athletic as you, and he's dominating the game right now. Nice work in the back row of the truck. We'll be getting a lot of great shots. Shout out to our GPB crew. It's day one of a three-day event down here. We're almost at the score. Down four, three minutes to go. As they're on a 5-0 run currently. Both teams three for eight from the floor here in the quarter. Count throws it all the way back. Davion Mitchell will start it up again. Content to let Will Richardson just kind of travel the perimeter and just dribble the basketball. They're keeping an eye on 5 and 23. Gabby on this one, Richard the count. And see, so counts early numbers 12 and 2. And see, John, a lot of times the zone, what it does, it takes the offense off rhythm. They've been, you know, uh, a, a lot of transition baskets, a lot of penetrating to the basket. But Liberty County now, the zone has caused them to be off rhythm. But you still got to do something, and that's deep in and also box out against the zone, too. And that's Richardson, again, being in the right place at the right time. 24 to 18, margins back to six, coming up on two minutes to go first half. Championship number four, the last one for day one here. Three days here at the Coliseum. Determining the VHSA champs for 2015-16. Kick out. MJ got it. Nice stroke, John. He's pure. Again, he's one of the top ten players in the nation as a rising senior next year. He's pure from the outside, pure from the inside. He's just a solid stroke. He's got a lot of basketball to play, John. He does have a chance. When he explodes, John, he will explode. Coming up on 90 seconds to go. About it, take the three, throw, whistle. Looks like it's a charge on the count, or they're going to call the block the other way. 
Young Cat did a great job of just sizing them up. Not attacking at first, but using the hesitation. And just, and Cooper's not able to get there early, John. Good play by LeCount, John. Just doing a solid job of being in attack mode all night long. Second foul, they call it on Cooper. First free throw missed by LeCount. Second one missed too, but inside. Josh Shaw Harris. Heck, Jones for a last will stay with Liberty. Quick inbound. Mitchell. Around the horn, looking for it. steps call account. And, and John, the zone, this is zone. You know, I don't know how much Coach Melvin is going to stick to this in the second half, but I'm sure here in the second quarter, it's really causing this Liberty County, John, to play uh, a little bit off rhythm. This is a team that's used to playing 70s and 80s, and right now with a minute to go first half, they've only got 24. Walker looking to drive. Looks like the fouls on Jaishon Harris on the way past. And Harris is first. And John, we go back to our keys again. We talked about the role players. Again, MJ Walker, one of the top 10 rising seniors in the nation. He's a solid player, but the role players for Jonesboro, John, have to step up to some point tonight. Jamari Mosley back in. Zurich Cooper will sit. Three throws, good. Liberty sits on it. Tries up tempo. Jumper, elbow, got it. Again, I go back to man to man. Liberty has that rhythm, John. I don't know. You got 30 plus seconds left in this in the first half, John. Measure the stake with the jump with the zone to carry out the game. Jenkins drags it all the way back out to half court. Game by Mosley. Jay Walker up high. Down to 10. Kick out. Three. Short. That's the half. Oh, almost. The shot clock would have died anyway, but Liberty County. Richard LeCount had the half for the Panthers. Hitting from the outside, getting half of Liberty County's points. And Julian Stokes has a full point lead of the break. 16 minutes away from their first ever state title. Sam Crenshaw with Coach Stokes. Going to going the locker room, Coach Stokes. Talked about the first half. Uh, we've been doing a good job on the rebounds. Uh, I think we're out hustling them right now, and we keep doing what we're doing. We'll pull out a victory towards the end, but we got to continue to come out in the second half, uh, do, do what we did in the first half. Things you want to see them really execute on in the second half that maybe you had to settle down and, and lose the nerves from to start this game. Taking advantage of every opportunity, man. We had a lot of missed opportunities at the basket. When we get to the free throw line, you know, we're not knocking out our free throws like we normally do. I told them before, but before we came out, it's just a regular game. You know, they just got to settle down and play their game. Well, they can do that in the second half. Good luck to you. Thank you. That is Coach Julian Stokes. Score is 26-22, Liberty County up on Jonesboro. Now let's go, Mark and Jackie. Thank you, Sam. Coming up on our GBB halftime show, we'll have scores and highlights from the first half game. Also, I'll tell you what fans are talking about online in the world of social media. That and much more coming up on our halftime show as we continue. Don't go anywhere. Today, companies in the aerospace, advanced manufacturing, and film industries need skilled workers, and the earning potential is high. Go Build Georgia can show you where the jobs are and what skills you need to get them. And the Technical College System of Georgia has fast, affordable training for these great paying careers. 
Build your blueprint for success at GoBuildGeorgia.com and look to the technical college system of Georgia to put your plan into action. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. Welcome to the GBP Halftime Show. We're live from the Macon Coliseum, live from the GHSA Boys and Girls High School Basketball Championships. We are live on GBP, and we are halfway through the fourth and final game of day one of this basketball fiesta of baskets, blocks, and buzzer beaters. And coming up later, we will have first half scores and highlights for you. But first, let's get to the, some things on social media. Let's get to what the fans are talking about online. You can find us at Facebook and Twitter at GPB Sports. You can also stream these games live at gpb.org slash sports. Let's get to a few tweets so far from fans coming in. Stephanie chiming in saying, wishing my brother luck tonight, coaching Liberty in the state championship game tonight. So far, they've got a leg up on the defending state champions, so she's showing her love there. Then we have Brooke chiming in with this cute bunch of kids. We can't hide our hashtag Panther pride. Make sure you're sending us photos. The best ones will make get in here on the air send us where you're watching from who you're rooting for tonight rusty chiming in saying wow a little easy has gone nuts behind the three-point line in the first half of the state championship game on gpb sports that's richard lecount for liberty county like i said don't forget you can follow us like us we're also on snapchat now at gpb sports where you can see all the behind the scenes action happening here at the state championship finals so make sure you find us on all social media platforms now let's check out the Georgia EMC scoreboard. We've crowned three state champions so far today. One more to go and 16 minutes of regulation to play. In the first game today, the girls' Class A public championship. It was Turner County beating Carroll County 55 to 38 for the first state championship in that school's history. In the boys' Class 1A public, it was Wilkinson County winning its eighth state championship, knocking off the Bulldogs of Hancock Central 55-42. In the Class 4A girls, it was America. Sumter. When the school was America's, they won back in 1966. 50 years later, they've combined the two schools down there. America Sumter winning its first state championship, 56 to 38 over the veterans, Warhawks. And then right now we are at the half. Liberty County leading Jonesboro, 26-22. The Cardinals hoping, going, trying to accomplish the three-peat. They have been back-to-back -back state champs down one half to go can't believe we're in our final game here of the state championship games here on the first day so before we get to the second half and all the excitement that entails first it's time for our career play of the game brought to you by the technical college system of georgia love working on computers let the technical college system of georgia help you qualify for one of thousands of job openings in computer technology TCSG offers you free tuition for high demand careers like web development and design, IT, computer repair, and much more. Change your life. Kickstart your career with a free education in 10 hot hiring fields. Enroll today. TCSG.edu. 
You know, this game is living up to all its expectations. MJ Walker of Jonesboro is ranked eighth, I think, in the country in terms of juniors or rising seniors. And then, of course, Liberty County has Davion Mitchell. He's going to go to Auburn in a couple years. He's just a junior, but he's already committed. And Richard LeCount, he's a five-star football player. He's going to go to Georgia, not this year, but next year. Yeah, it's incredible all the talent that you see. And then you see that manifest through the NBA, the WNBA, and then at the college level, obviously, as well. So a lot of great talent out there on the court, that's for you sure. You got that right. Well, we're getting ready for the second half of the final game of day one of the boys and girls GHSA championships here on GPB. It's the boys 4A game. Don't go anywhere. It's the final 16 minutes of regulation between Liberty County and Jonesboro. Liberty County making things interesting. John Nelson and Sean Golden will have the first half scores and highlights coming up next on GPB. Life, like video games, is all about getting to the next level. Mastering skills, gaining knowledge, and setting goals are crucial to success in both. I attended the College Career Academy when I was a sophomore. At the time, I was working at Taco Bell, but I realized that it just wasn't for me. What I do here in my job is very similar to what I did at the College and Career Academy. Georgia Department of Education's Career Pathway courses give you the chance to power up your future. Information is at georgiasfutureworkforce.org. Across 91 counties, Georgia's cotton industry employs over 15,000 people with more than 3,000 Georgia farmers that bring cotton into our everyday lives. When life turns up the heat and the pressure makes you sweat, there's one sure way to cool down. For those glory moments on and off the court, cotton is with you for the win. Cotton, the natural choice for Georgia. What's the next great American invention? Meet a few Georgia Tech students who have an idea. We're Team Replantable, and we've invented a way for people to grow produce right in their kitchen. Engineers and innovators of every stripe present their proposals to the judges. Science and engineering. Industrial design. Mechanical engineering. engineering. Computer engineering. Electrical engineering. See the teams who've earned a golden ticket and who will take first place at the 2016 Inventure Prize at Georgia Tech. Wednesday, March 16th on GPB. Watch me and see whether or not you want to do it. I guess I'm just going to walk right through. This is alligator country. Are you insinuating that you have to babysit me? This is pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. He's kind of warty for a tree frog. Whoop. He's on your hat. <laughs> I've never seen anything move quite that fast in my life. We're about to make what we call a bear burrito. It's true love. Can I have this for dinner tonight? Sure. Thank you. Give me a kiss. Back inside Macon Coliseum. Halftime wrapping up Liberty County with a four-point lead over Jonesboro. Jonesboro, Coach Melvin, tell us about the first half of this basketball game. Uh, you, you know, we just didn't uh, we didn't match their intensity. Um, we didn't do a very good job of blocking out. Our game, went, our game plan was to play good defense and, most importantly, block them out, make them hit shots in this big arena, and we just didn't do that. I mean, they outworked us for 16 minutes. You've been in this situation before. You won this title the last two years, but that's the last two years. What do you have to have in the second half now? I told my guys, you got 16 minutes left. It's about a 30-minute span of your life to, to handle a very simple game plan. How bad do you want it? Whoever wants it the most is going to win this game. We'll be looking for it. Good luck to you in the second half. Thank you very much. That is Coach Belvin from Jonesboro High School. John, Sean, back to you. Thank you very much, Sam. How much do you want it? Interesting words from Coach Mill. Yeah, John, we talked about it being the hunted or the hunter. And right now, Jonesboro's being hunted. We're right. going for number three in a row. And you've got Liberty County coming out, John, and they've got that gun, and they see that rascally rabbit, John, and they want to get him, and they want to get him. <laughs> and LeCount, he's the one with the gun, John, and he's out here just doing things, a five-star stud on the defensive end for defense, and, and it shows you the kind of player he is, just a guy that's playing with so much energy, so much passion, and he's just tenacious on the defensive end, too. Let's take a look at some of the first-half highlights and how we got to this point. You see... MJ Walker then clamped down on him hard. Yeah, John, the early bright spot for him, catching the ball in the paint. You know, was able to come out here and do some good things. That's Cooper, the uh, football star that's going to play at, at Clemson, so he's helping out. But here's the man of the hour right here. Here's LeCount attacking in transition. Here's LeCount anticipating with the steal and off of the steal, John, knocking down the three. 
So you got a guy that, and again, and, and after the three, John, he jumped right in the, in the face of MJ Walker. Looking at the stats here, John, rebounds 24 to 12. Every category you can imagine, John, Liberty County, John, is dominating the game. Stats brought to us by our friends at Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. Stats courtesy of our friends at West Georgia Technical College. Breaking down those rebound numbers, 13 defensive rebounds for Liberty County, one offensive board for Jonesboro. Again, one. That, that, that's called hustle, John. Sometimes you can, you can call plays, but you can't get out here and just draw up heart and hustle. And, you know, old dab, old Sweeney, you got to bring your own heart. Bring your own guts, you got to bring your own guts. And tonight, uh, LeCount and his guys, they're just bringing the, that pale, John, that work hard ethic, that mindset, and really rattling Jonesboro. Well, you mentioned Dabo Sweeney. Obviously, Zara Cooper heading that way to be, a, to be a quarterback for that football team. What's going on in here? I mean, obviously, we talked to both of these coaches, but what else is going on in these huddles right now? Well, see, Liberty County, John, have nothing to lose. When you have nothing to lose, John, you give 100%. Sometimes I, I, you look at when you're being hunted like Jonesboro, they're trying to protect their opportunity for a 3 p and when you protect it, John, you've been a little bit cautious. They just have to play relentless. No holes barred here in the second half. So there is such a thing as protecting something too hard. Yes. Oh, definitely, yes. Especially when it comes to a championship. Jump ball heading the other way. Alternate possession. Liberty County had the dribble drive. They had that back door. To try to expand on this four point lead. Let's see how Jonesboro responds to Coach Mailman's speech that he gave and told our Sam Crenshaw about it. Jenkins, fish on the kick, no good. Rebound, everybody crashing inside. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Liberty County coming out with it. Mitchell. And John, I like looking Mitchell. for Will Richardson, but they call it with Yeah, but John, I like, I like Mitchell's size, John. I mean, he's about six foot two, a great looking body, one of the top 11 uh, point guards in the nation for the 17th season. This kid's going to be pretty good down at Auburn. Foul on Eric Lovett, his first. First 40 seconds in here. Going all the way back, and Cannell bringing it into the front court. Started by MJ Walker this time. Interesting. Elbow jumper too much. But a second chance for Liberty County. Again, they're calling charge on LeCount. That's his second. The energy that LeCount has, John, you really got to understand you know, what he brings to the table. He's not going to stop on the first, second, third, or fourth play. And if you're a five-star stud, whether it's offense, defense, basketball, football, you play through the whistling. Even though he got the charge on him, this kid is playing with something right here, a sense of, uh, sense of urgency. Football player drawing the charge out of the other. The free safety charges into the quarterback. Change of possession. MJ Walker, a lot of hands in the way, and they're going to call a foul on Liberty County in reach. Even though it was a late whistle, John, it was a good foul. But MJ Walker, when he penetrates, John, he's not penetrating one on one. He's almost running in to three or four black jerseys. And when he gets to the paint, John, Liberty County just collapsing on his presence. Second foul on Jaishon Harris. Three bodies on the inside steps. Mari Smith called for the violation. 80 seconds in, Liberty County's lead is still. 26-22, Richardson left hand, tip in, off the joust. Richardson with nine. The lead is up to six. Active hands everywhere by Liberty County. They've got numbers. Davion Mitchell. Did you see how high he jumped, John? Did you see how much he got up? Penthouse. Let me tell you something. He's not putting up the numbers that you would think he would tonight. But as athletic as that play was, John, that's a high major play. And it's just a junior. First bucket of the night for Davion Mitchell. 
They'll dribble Jones for a turnover. <laughs> in a state championship game, this is the first point I would love to have. <laughs> you know, coming down with a tomahawk dunk. But you know what? I think you're going to watch him now starting to play more aggressive and getting involved in the play. Three turnovers this quarter already, and we're only two minutes in for Jonesboro. Hijack heading back the other way as Jonesboro four off one. And they missed the layup and the second and third chances. Fouls on Jaishan on uh, Jalon Frazier, his second. And kind of the tail, John, of Jonesboro here. Uh, the first two minutes going into the second half and all the first half. You had three opportunities for the tip back, John. It just didn't fall. Yeah, you had the free throw line, but you had a chance to convert off a turnover. And we'll see if they can get two points out of this possession. Open misses the first. And those are the kind of plays, John, you have to make, especially in a championship game. The transition basket come. You had three guys right there at point blank range. And you're trying to get a point off of the, from the free throw line. You get zero out of it. It's a tough break there for Jonesville. But they get the rebound. Follow away, nothing. Back comes Liberty County. What count? Two on two. Pull up. Jumper. Too much. But another chance for Liberty County. Again. Davion Mitchell thinking about it. Drive. Wave it off on the way by. Looks like it's going to be Tyreek Jenkins on the drive. And so, John, when you make athletic plays like you did previously before with the transition dunk, that sense of energy, he's got something now starting to stir inside, and now he's going to go on the attack. Great move, way to ride on the baseline, solid finish. I thought it was an end one. Bucket counts. John, I told you, I told you, I told you. He just needed one play to get his fire lit. Now he's has three straight plays where he's dominated the game. Now a chance for a four-point play. Foul on Tyreek Jenkins, his third. Here it is. Pull up. Got the three. Missed the free throw, though. Jonesboro. Back in possession with it, coming up on five minutes. Liberty County on a 9-0 run. Great entry pass to MJ Walker. Too much rebound on the inside. Liberty County. And all the jostling inside the paint. It stays with Jonesboro. And John, body language. Watch the body language there of Jonesboro. They're in a fight. They have to wake up. They're in a fight. They're hoping something happens. They're hoping that MJ Walker can put them on his back, but you can't do that because it's one against five. Somebody has to step up here for Jonesboro in the next couple of minutes. Walls to MJ in the corner, pull up, jumper, too much. Second chance, a rarity, and they missed the bunny again. Liberty County trying to come out with it. MJ Walker with the steal. Bodies all over the floor. Timeout call, does it stay? Yes. And see the first person on the court, was uh, County, uh, John, Liberty County, the first people on the court, the first person on the court is the one going to come up with the basketball. Heads up play by Jalon Frazier. Jonesboro from the floor this quarter, 0 for 7. Quick word with what else is going on here at Georgia Public Broadcasting. Have you ever wondered why basketballs bounce or what animal can jump the highest? For questions like these and many more, don't miss Why Wednesdays for a full night of science and nature shows to explore all of life's toughest mysteries. Why Wednesday on the great GPB? How about a Why Thursday? Hey, Why Thursday? State championship, John. Jonesboro, Liberty County. That's why. This is a great game, John. And Liberty County just coming out being aggressive. I mean, they're, they're playing with so much energy, nothing to lose, playing relentless, getting all the 50-50 balls. They really want this championship bad, John. Will Richardson inbounds to Davion Mitchell. And you can see that Mitchell's feeling it. It's low to the ground. He's feeling it, and there's a 
whistle on the drive pass. It's going to be on Qualls. So that'll be Qualls' second foul. In the first game, we called the day partner. It was a game of runs in single A with Wilkinson County and Hancock Central. This one's also a game of runs. Jonesboro had a 9-2 run to close the margin to two before Liberty has scored nine now to make it an 11-point game all over again. Mitchell, too much. Coming out with it. Jonesboro falls to MJ Walker. Driving. And that foul's going to be on Marshall Washington. MJ Walker was trying to get into the paint. Washington's second foul. I think MJ sees when if he can get the ball in transition, John, he can attack the rim and not have five black shirts there waiting for him in the paint. So he was ready to turn the corner, got tripped just a little bit. Uh, here in the half court, we'll see what Jones Burr can do. It seems like anytime 23 White gets the ball, as many black shirts that can get there as quickly as possible clamp down on him, and they've been doing it ever since opening tip. Now you can see the fatigue kicking in with Walker, I and mean, he's running all over the place trying to get a touch of the ball, trying to get in a position to score, and he's just been hounded by the Liberty County defense. Derek Cooper, falls playing catch. Nothing happening there as we come up on three and a half to go. Eric Lovett, long three, rimmed out. Walls inside. And Jamari Smith with the two. Jonesboro's first basket of the quarter with the 319. There's a half court trap, a 1 2 2 half court trap. But John, it's only a nine point game. If, if I'm Jonesboro, John, I might go back to the 3 2 zone. Because what it did, it threw me to the county off center. Six and a half minutes drought for Jones to hit it with that bucket. Count driving. Fouls on Zara Cooper. It's his third. Liberty County, 13-0 on second chance points. Davion Mitchell, his first bucket of the game went to the penthouse. Liberty County's lead is nine on the green. Brings out the best in all of us. At Regions, every day is game day. Welcome back, Megan Coliseum, Megan Centerplex 303 for the third. Liberty County's lead is nine, and we refer to Jonesboro as the defending, defending champ. And here's how they got that way. Knocking off Columbia in 2014, Kerry Sandifer getting to the Cap County powerhouse for the last game of the year. Jonesboro ends up with the Duke to get their first one. And then, of course, what do you do for an encore after knocking off Columbia to get that first championship? Get the celebration in after the long jumper is no good by Columbia. Jonesboro gets the Duke there to get that first title. 56-51, the final over Columbia. Then last year, in a big game against Carrollton. Carrollton getting a lot of impact on the inside, but once again, the guys that you're seeing who are seniors now or juniors last year. Jonesboro ended up going back to back, knocking off Carrollton. Back to back titles. A couple of attempts, Jamari Smith gets the do. Second chance points finally falling for Jonesboro there. The margins to seven at 33 26. And John Jonesboro, you know, just chipping away. You don't, you know, don't panic. Take your time. Seven point game, still in the third quarter. You can't try to force the tempo or make big plays. You gotta get good stops. Like right that one, not count the steps. You know what, John? I like this exchange. I like this exchange. This deep. This is a football player versus a basketball player. That football guy, he's going to get inside the mind of MJ Walker. MJ Walker, what is he going to do? How is he going to react? What is he going to do? 
You want to lock down free safety going up against the number one wide receiver. That's what you've got right there with the 223. And, and I'm telling you, you just put a, a camera on those two alone, John. <laughs> it's the face guard going on. And MJ Walker, instead of making cuts, he's just walking around. The count doing exactly what's supposed to be frustrating. But again, going back to our keys. Role players for John, role players for Jonesburg, John, have to make plays. That's a good drive. Balls with the bucket there, the margins five. We're under two minutes to go, third quarter. And the bounce is good there for Richardson to break up the 6 0 run by the Cardinals. Buzz pass there, too hard, doesn't get the roll. Falls was fighting for it with Richardson. It goes out of bounds and stays. And there's your ISO right there. There it is. Look at this. All defense, football. Look at that. Not letting me get the ball. And see how MJ's walking. He's got to cut. He's got to move. But he's frustrated by LeCount, John. Great defense. Great defense and strategy. Front the receiver the entire time. Richardson, Davion Mitchell, followed by Jamari Smith. Step over, left hand, big teardrop, doesn't fall, kick back out, the count going after the basketball, bodies everywhere, goes to Jonesboro. John, let's say we had 100 plays tonight within this game, and we had a lot more than that, but let's say we had 100. Of that 100, I would say in 80% of those, the count has had something, he's been involved in 80% of those good plays, John. I mean, he's everywhere. And he's brought the football mentality onto the basketball field. And you need that. You, you, you have to have that. There's a sense of toughness that good players have. You got either football or basketball, there's a sense of toughness that you have to have. Davion Mitchell and MJ Walker's hip pocket. Timeout called by Jonesboro. Not a bad move by MJ Walker, John. Just using a spin move to get the defense off of him. And that's a good play. I mean, if he can continue that here going into the fourth quarter, John, uh, he can actually do a good job of putting this Jonesburg team on his back, just scooping up for the two points instead of penetrating, facing up, John. Getting him on his hip, close to a foul. Two points and down low in the paint. Remember, Davion Mitchell does not have a foul. The count has two. And we mentioned that football mentality of LeCount, one of the assistant coaches for Julian Stokes is someone that you know from yeah. the time up in Athens. Yeah, Kurt Warner, you talk about guys that hit football coach down there. And uh, Kurt, you know, he has so much confidence in this program and in these kids. And, you know, he may, he may be the person that orchestrated uh, this whole thing, John. I mean, you know, getting Coach Stokes in the position of coach with his staff, and now getting Coach Stokes in a position to be the head coach at a young age of 24. And Kirk Warner very much loved there Liberty County. Liberty County alum, class of 2010, Julian Stokes. Graduated from Georgia State in 2014, came home. John, if you got players like he has, I don't care, I don't know who you are. You can be 19 years old. These kids can play the game. There's Coach Warner there. He and I had a chance to talk about our Georgia days together there. A great football star for Georgia. It was a long and involved conversation. Oh, it was a long involved conversation. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Can't talk about it on the air. But, John, yeah, I'm shocked that Jonesboro is trying to press the force of Temple of Liberty County here with 50 seconds to go on the court. I would drop back to that 3-2 zone. If they go for one shot, that's fine. You're only down by five points, but you got to throw Liberty County off rhythm somehow. Debbie on Mitchell guarded by Falls up high. There's Richardson. Picked up by Eric Lovett. Pass is complete to the cheerleader, but that results into another turnover. The ninth for Liberty County. Great catch. Good hands. Well, let's see what Jonesburg can do, John. You got the ball with 30 seconds to go in the third. What can happen? Balls and Davion Mitchell again. LeCount. And MJ Walker's hit pocket. Double team, 5 and 23. Bodies all over. Jonesboro had possession. Zara Cooper will call timeout. Here's your hustle on the floor. So you got a football guy. See, now I do like this, John. MJ Walker, the first one on the court. There's another football player going to Clemson Cooper. You've got the two football guys on the floor, John. 
that's that, that's what the game is going to come down to. The heart and hustle plays, John, the 50-50 plays. And MJ Walker getting on the floor, John, may have waken up that giant. Jared Cooper, number three in white, 6-4. Five points, four rebounds. He's a four-star QB heading to Clemson. Because when you mentioned Dabo Sweeney earlier, the first thing that popped into my brain was, okay, well, there's somebody who's going to Clemson. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he was out with the ACL last year. The kid has really bounced back. And I knew about ACLs. My daughter's going through one right now, John. And to bounce back from that type of injury, that type of surgery, and come out here and just stay, play hard, dab on the floor for loose balls. You know, he knows how to play and sacrifice his body to get things done. Jonesboro with 20.4. Just get us through to the 24-minute mark. Tyreek Jenkins looking inside, hands in the lane, picked up again. Davion Mitchell, layup. Marching back to seven, Tyreek Jenkins down, hands in the lane again. Well, John, these two plays offensively for Jonesboro, they're trying to get the ball to Walker. You had a wide open layup, you had a wide open pull up. Stop looking for a one man show. The role players have to be involved and make plays. Quick set and fire. Off the rim, no good. Does it count? Didn't go. Doesn't count anyway. Liberty County. Eight minutes away from knocking off the two-time defending champ, Davion Mitchell. Seven in the quarter. Liberty County up seven after three. On the great GPB fourth quarter right around the corner. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Yeah, like, I don't really well. You, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Here, beauty is a lot more than skin deep. For more than 100 years, we have focused on creating individual success stories. This is a place where professors are mentors, competition is cheered, collaboration counts, experience is hands-on, and connections are lifelong. VSU, over 100 majors, championship athletics, focused on your success. Welcome back, Megan Coliseum, Megan Centerplex getting ready for the last eight minutes regulation of the Boys Quad A Championship. Liberty County leading the two-time defending champs by seven. Sam Crenshaw was paying attention to a very animated Dan Mailman in the break. Sam. Absolutely. Coach Mailman told his team, you got eight minutes. Eight minutes left to go out and play your very best. He says every rebound has to be ours. Every loose ball has to be ours. And on every offensive possession, you've got to look for the best possible shot. Thank you very much, Sam. That you're talking to with each other. Well, John, the stage is set. Seven point game, Liberty County. The first two minutes, we'll see what team has the guts to finish this thing off. First two minutes, John, here in the fourth quarter. Jonesboro out rebounded Liberty County 11 7 in the third. They only had one offensive rebound in the first half. They had eight in the third quarter. Once again, more bodies on the floor. Timeout called. 
I don't know. That's kind of a question mark, John, because that ball was definitely out of the offensive hands. Got a lot of moisture on the court. MJ Walker also slipped as well. Let's, let's take a look at the pile. So here's Damon. Just a slip. Nobody touched him. See, you don't have possession of the ball, so they're looking to call a timeout. So I don't think the official really saw that. So he rewarded Liberty County with the timeout. They've got the ball, so you know, we're going to keep playing, John. Davion Mitchell kind of spun out. Presence of mind to kind of stay with it, get the timeout call. Yeah. I'll tell you about what else is going on here on the great GPB just in time for baseball season since pitchers and catchers have reported. Ken Burns presents his latest documentary, Jackie Robinson, an enthralling look at the groundbreaking career and civil rights activism of the baseball legend, featuring extensive interviews with his widow, Rachel. See how their love story was the foundation for all of his success. Jackie Robinson coming Monday, April 11th to the great GPB. What a great story Jackie Robinson doing. I mean, just a guy who really changed sports in a dynamic way. We've mentioned lights out, game on. It was probably the last person leaving Liberty County. Turn out the lights today. With Bradwell Institute in your corner, Liberty County High School, everyone in Liberty County, Hinesville well represented today, as was as is Jonesboro, here for the Quad A Championship. Last championship of day one, number four. Off the glass, short. Rebound picked up Zarek Cooper, looking to outlet to Jenkins and Eric Lovett. Cooper thought about it, big step, picked off. Davion Mitchell, Will Richardson. Looking to clear Lovett out. Thought about it. Give and go, Mitchell. Mitchell, right hand. John, he avoided that charge. I mean, great body control by Mitchell. But I'm telling you, John, I was watching Richardson with the sophomore with the ball up top. He's handling the ball with a lot of confidence. Yes, he had a few turnovers, but he's making solid plays. Three, no good by MJ Walker. Tyreek Jenkins blocked. Walker had it and lost it, but it's in on the third chance by Jabari Smith. And Joan Bear, Jones Bear realized, John, they're in a fight. I mean, they've got to be scrappy. Loose balls, as Coach said, offensive rebounds. But you've got to defend here, keep the ball out the paint, get a stop, go down and score. Love it and Richardson. Jenkins and Mitchell pass to the inside. Strip coming back the other way. Reach in that time by Richardson. Playing defense to keep Lovett from getting the two. That'll be Richardson's third. As we're a minute 40 in, Liberty County leading by seven. Lovett has really been clamped down tonight. Yeah. Averaging 15 and four. He's only has the one three-pointer from the first quarter, and that's it. Well, John, you know, go back to what I said. You got the hunter and you got the hunted. And when you're the hunter, John, you look at Liberty County, you've got a seven-point lead here in the fourth. You want to all you, you're kind of looking at the clock a little bit now. Clock run, clock run. But when you're hunting, John, you can't slow down. You have to stay aggressive. And, you know, even though it may have a turnover, they've got to continuously attack, attack, attack. This is both free throws. Bounce pass to the inside off the glass too hard. LeCount kicks it back out. We got a whistle. Call LeCount for stepping on the baseline. Right now, LeCount is an early enrollee at Georgia to play football for Kirby Smart. So if everything sticks to plan, this is his only opportunity to get a basketball championship. And, and John, he is taking advantage of this opportunity like no one else. He's playing one of the top five players in the nation. I mean, he's really handling him pretty good. Offensively, he is everywhere. Defensively, John, he is all over the court. He's going to leave it all out here today trying to take this championship back home and live the county. Two bodies up high. 
Get it back out to Jonesboro for the three, which is short off the rim. Third opportunity. Jamari Smith was looking to do something with it. He got another foul. Fouls on Tavion Mitchell, his first. And John, it's too early for Jonesboro to start, start shooting threes. I mean, shooting threes, John, is going to take away their confidence. Get to the basket, get to the rim, and then get to the free throw line. Call that on Jalon Frazier. That'll be his third. And this is how you chip away and chip away and chip away, and the clock doesn't move. And that's the best time, John, to get a score, especially when you're down. 538 in the fourth, you're down by seven points. Score from the free throw line. You got control of the top of the clock. You got a defensive sub coming in and set up your defense. This is a great situation for Coach Nelman and Jonesboro. And you had mentioned three-point shooting. Jonesboro only two of 12 to this point. It's not their strength, John. I mean, you got one player, which is MJ Walker. Yeah, he's shooting close to 4% from the three-point line. Everyone else is shooting well below 20, 25 for the year. So it's not the strength of their team. It's not their backbone. It's not what they wear their hat on. So you've got to continue, try to get to the free throw line, but they've got to capitalize, Sean, uh, John, when the opportunity presents itself. Missing another two, 0 for 4 in the quarter. 6 of 14 in the game from the line for Jonesboro. Richardson spinning on Lovett. Left hand. I said it a couple plays ago. I'm really liking this kid. A sophomore, ladies and gentlemen. A sophomore making big plays here in the championship setting. Jumper misses everything. And Tyreek Jenkins. Here's Richardson. I mean, he's got great a shot to the chops, too. Great body control. Handles the ball. Look at that. Got the basketball on the string. Penetrating with the lefty scoop for the finish. Another shot to the jaw, sticks with it, off the rim, no. Jump ball call, and it's going to go back the other way to Jonesboro as Jalon Frazier and Lovett were trying to hang on to it at the same time. And see, John, sometimes if you look at Liberty County, you'll say you're up by nine points, under five minutes to go. Just be patient, but that's not how they play, John. You can't play out of who you are. Liberty County, you've got to stay in attack mode, but make that right attack at the right time. Jenkins with a double screen up high. Here's MJ Walker, guarded by LeCount. Runner. Very pretty. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, John, tonight he's playing one against five. He's not having a lot of help, so he's having to do a lot of things on his own. Walker with 13. The margin is six. Trying to get through traffic. Davion Mitchell, and they're going to call a block on Walker. Hey, hey! Your 23 is going at it. Football versus basketball. And what I'm seeing, John, now looking at LeCount, now he hasn't been that involved in plays in the fourth quarter. I think fatigue is getting to him, John. We'll see what happens here. Is it going to be, is it going to need a little breather? He's bending over, so he may, fatigue may be creeping up on him just a little bit. And that we can see a change in his intensity, John, on the defensive end. Count was called on MJ Walker, his first. Count to Davion Mitchell. is working with count blocked by Walker from behind another opportunity lost the handle on the way up Jonesboro's got it more hands in the pile Walker and the two by Jamari Smith all Jonesboro need John is getting stopped we talked about the count and fatigue point blank range you know he's losing control of the ball he's not moving around as quick now you got to have a sophomore Richardson see if he can actually help uh, uh, Liberty County take it home. Alan Jamari Smith on the reach on Richardson, his third. <laughs> and is good. Now, John, I'm going to set a scenario for you. Give it a count up by six points. You got three timeouts. Maybe a time right now 
a timeout for rest. Sometimes the timeouts aren't for strategy, just to give your team a rest, a little breather, so you can finish out the game strong. Richardson now has 15. Averages 13 on the year. Here's your 23s. The count. And then Jay Walker pulls up with a long three and got it. Timeout, Jonesboro. Yeah, Jonesboro is using a timeout. This is a rest timeout, John. It's not about strategy. They're going to come up with a little strategy, try to make something happen on the defensive end. You got the number one player uh, in the state as a junior, one of the top ten players in the nation. Eventually, it's going to happen for him. Nice stroke there for MJ Walker from the from the deep three. All right, let me flip the script for you. There's your defending, defending champ. Your Julian Stokes. In Liberty County going up against these guys in white. Who've been in this situation before. What are you telling them in the huddle? Up four when you've been up by a lot more than that. Well, you don't want to be a hero right now, John. You don't need big plays. Guys been up by four. But you can't panic during this time. Because if they see us panic, they're going to try to come down and capitalize on it. Make solid plays. You don't have to, there's no shot clock, so we don't have to rush. We still have to be in attack mode, but we have to be smart and strategic about when we're attacking. Handle the pressure that's going to come up in the full court and the half court zone. So then if you're going down the road, guys, it's our game to win. We're down by four points. We've got all the momentum on our side. It's our game to win. They've never been in this position before. This is the first time in a state championship. We've been here before. Don't force the play. Just take our time. So Liberty pushes the tempo again. LeCount, right hand. Short on the three by Lovett. After hitting that early three, he's been cold ever since. But it's going to stay with Jonesboro after the jousting down to 314. His offensive substitution. You're Jonesboro. Get Cooper back in the game, coach. You need an offensive unit here on the court. But right now, you've got Paul's in the game, John. And he's an offensive liability here from down the stretch. Defensive player of the year in the region, and they couldn't get it inbound, so they have to call a timeout. That leaves Jonesboro with one. All right, this is what you said earlier in the day. But coach said it at halftime, coach. John, defensive intensity. They're not, they're starting to pick it up now. Offensive execution, they're starting to pick it up now. Role players. We've talked about it all day long. The role players have to step up because MJ Walker can't do it alone. The role players hasn't been as effective as he's wanted tonight, John. And now you're down by six points. Rebounding at the half. Once again, it was 24-12, Liberty County. All those second chance points that Liberty County was getting, those have gone a lot less. And to this point, they've been out-rebounded 18-11. But a lot of those by Jonesboro since the half have been on the offensive side. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of the thing that Coach Beverly talked about. We have to be more aggressive and more assertive in what we're trying to do. Trying to go for an alley-oop with AJ. Off the glass, no tip, he's up and in. Gonna get that to zero. Hey, see, John, I talked about having two in the game on the offensive end. I know you got cards and your defense to stop him, but you gotta have an offensive unit to put yourself in the position to get a championship. Oh, a block. On the drive on Zarek Cooper, and that's four. And Melman can't believe it. Uh, yeah, I, I can do that, John. I mean, Cooper was in position. All he had to do was stand his ground. Before contact, John, Cooper's falling to the basket. He's falling backwards. And yes, that is a block. you got to stay stationary, absorb the charge contact. So I'll coach Melman say it doesn't matter. I can do with the movement, I guess. What Zarek Cooper was doing in the paint. Free throw good by Davion Mitchell, marching back to five. Six. Good time shot there for Mitchell, John. Good time free throws. 
Mitchell with 11 now, all in the second half. Now guarding MJ Walker. Pass baseline steps, and it's going to be a turnover. Uh, Cooper's out the game, John. You know, LeCount's getting underneath him a little bit. Cooper gets frustrated. He's still frustrated by the charge. You've got to learn how to let that play go. It may have cost your team a state championship. Foul on Zarek, technical foul call on Zarek Cooper. Let's take another look. Let's see what happens. LeCount. Oh, well, the officials didn't see that. LeCount got a little hit on the head with the ball. And out of frustration, Cooper reacted, responded to it. Here's your technical on Cooper. So Davion Mitchell goes to the line for the tee. Limbed out. I do love this kid, Mitchell, John a Jr. He's going to get better. As athletic as he is, he's got a great body, you know, a good IQ for the game. Now, Bruce Pearl's getting a steal with him going down the offense. One for two, 12 total. And it all started with his dunk. Mm -hmm. It all started. I mean, sometimes, John, you just need that one thing to get you over the hump, and his was an exciting finish and transition. Jonesboro, cold free throws in the second half. They've missed their last four after starting out six for 10. Liberty, seven to 16. Mitchell has scored 12 points in 13 plus minutes. Off, no good. Second chance, no. Off the joust, Qualls going after it with Jalon Frazier. It's going to go to Jonesboro at 227. And John, you know, I was just going to say that's where Jonesboro is going to miss Cooper because he was able to get some rebounds inside and help on the offensive and defensive glass. Jenkins to MJ Walker, long three launch. He just threw it. Trying to draw the foul, he did. I think you've been watching a lot of the NBA, John. Sometimes you can kick that leg out and create some contact because it was a good contest up top. But I think down low there was some contact below the waist. Davion Mitchell called for the foul. As Walker just threw the ball up to try to create something. He's created three free throws out of it. Mitchell second. First free throw. We've seen a lot of that already here in day one. A lot of three points missed with fouls on the three. Well, I'd say defensively it's about close out and kids going to contest. Every shot, John, you don't have to block it. You just need to contest it. You contest it in a way that you don't foul the shooter. And the shooter has the right, uh, his or her space to go up and come down. Defensively, you got to respect that. Three for three. Walker with 19. The margin is four. And see, that was a huge play for Jonesboro, John. Three point play, and the clock stops. Speaking of the clock stops, now on Tyreek Jenkins will go to the other end. Walker with eight in the quarter. And the foul is on Jenkins, his fourth. Which well, that may not be a bad foul. I mean, you know, you got Richardson going to the free throw line. Uh, I don't think he's been there all night long. So, you know, he's got to put now, yeah, he's got to, actually, he's been there twice. So he's got to prove himself here when it's late in the game, John, with 2.20 to go. Three for three. Richardson with 16. Seventeen, the margin six. And John, he's proved himself worthy. He'll be a top junior rising junior next year here in the state. I mean, the kids come out here in the state championship game, 17 points, hitting, making big plays and big shots here down in the clutch. Trying to create again is MJ Walker. Jenkins chased after the miss out of bounds. Last touch by Jonesboro goes to Liberty County at 207. Second verse from Walker. Lob. That's a dangerous pass. And a turnover and two and possibly three. 
Now we've seen the momentum shift back and forth each play of the game. And the way to come back and when to come back is to also get a point, an old-fashioned three-point play, and score when, it's, when the clock is stopped, John. Dicey pass on the inbound, intercepted. Fouls on LeCount, his third. Three-point play, cuts it to three. Richardson and Tyreek Jenkins. Davion Mitchell gets past Qualls, tries to create off the right hip, no. Hands in, and a foul on Jaishon Harris. That'll be his third. Now, John, if you coach Stokes, you see that he's switching just a little bit going to Jones Jonesboro. I might call a timeout right here just to ice MJ before the free throw. Call a timeout just to ice him, and now you can coach your team. Yeah, see, now MJ Walker's heating up, John. I know you got a minute and 48 to go, but he's in rhythm. And, and sometimes, John, you know, on the floor for the loose balls, those plays wake up that sleeping giant. Missed. Made his last five free throws getting to that point. Liberty leading by two. LeCount with the teardrop. Now that's a big time play, John. Transition basketball being up by four points. Big time play for LeCount. Tyreek Jenkins. And a smart timeout called by Will Richardson. He was outnumbered on the baseline. Let's take a look at 23 dark. Well, they got to play like they play, John. Richardson attacking, but he's under control. Nice teardrop, nice finish over the other guys down there at Jonesboro. You know, this kid right here, LeCount, John, if there's an MVP, you got to give it to LeCount. I mean, he's just doing something that uh, he's doing his team uh, to really win this championship game, John. LeCount has 18. What's going on in the Liberty Huddle? All right, so they're huddling. What are you telling them? Yeah. The Jonesboro guys, there's still a lot of basketball to play. It's a full point game. Now, we've got to get steals. We've got to get reflections. We've got to be relentless here in this last minute and a half. And you see uh, Liberty County, John, play our game. Guys, just play our game to finish this thing out. Leading scores in the fourth. MJ Walker has a nine of his 20. Richardson has six of his 17. Avion Mitchell. Under 90 seconds. Picked up by Qualls. Figured the double team would happen sooner or later. 23 is battling. LeCount, drive. Missed it. No second chance. Back comes Jonesboro. J. Walker out of control, get the Qualls. Jenkins will drive, dish, and out of the hands of Jamari Smith. Turnover at 105. John, that to me was the play of the game. I mean, everybody's looking for MJ Walker. We talked about the role players. Role players have to make a play. You know, this ball just went to the offensive hand, but still, role players have to make a play. Long touchdown pass to Coach Davion Mitchell, being chased after by Qualls. Richardson fought the three, bringing it out of traffic. Where's the foul coming from Jonesboro? That's the big question. We're at 50 seconds. There it is, Tyreek Jenkins. That's five. He's out. making a two possession game we're hitting these two here down the coach. Richardson is going up to the line John is 4-4 for the night. He's 100 percent. The color commentary jinx brought to you by Sean Golden in 46.5. <laughs> I couldn't let that one go. Pardon. You could not be done. You could not man. I love you for it. 
Oh, Richardson, man, John, I mean, he's just, oh, he's nice. I mean, Aaron, this is key. This is key, John. You know, Jonesboro 5 for 10 from the free throw line here in the fourth quarter. Liberty 7 for 8. So it shows a sense of toughness. And guys be able to get up in the chair to strike, John. And hit those free throws. That's a big time free throw there by the sophomore, Richardson. Margins 5. Watch a quick spot up and throw here. Behind the back, gets the two, timeout. Yeah, that was a nice play. Behind the back, nice scoop, MJ Walker. But it's one on five, John. I mean, you know, he's a heck of a player. Inside out, behind the back. Waiting for it to contact inside. But you can't expect, as good of a player as he is, John, you can't expect one player to win the game. You need a team after these role players really have not stepped up to the yeah, Deion Mitchell stayed with the left hand. MJ Walker with behind the back, right hand for the bucket. A quick two. They only burned about six seconds off the clock. Jonesboro. Blue dashes at the bottom of the screen under the word Jonesboro. Yeah, well, the one five, all gone. The five second timeout, John really hurt him. He could have held that one. Then, you know, that would be in the back pocket. But the 38.9 to go, John, it's got to be a quick foul. Deny first, get the quick foul. And let's just try to make this, you know, uh, multiple possession games with quick baskets in transition. And this foul, the inbound as quick as possible. Talked about it, Jay Walker putting the game on his shoulders. 24 minutes, 11 points. Seven minutes, 21 seconds, 11 points. The count looking to inbound as you go long to Richardson. Yes. Walls. They call the walk. They call the walk. Steps first. Good call. Good call. They call the walk. That was great defense by Great defense by Jones Burrow. Just fantastic defense. All right, run through that for me. Yeah, just Smith just comes up, and you've got Richardson has to know that there's a defender behind him. He's got to be careful and cautious there in transition against the press defense. Denari Smith had the defensive stop there. The turnover on the drive by Jones Burrow. That steps call was the first turnover Liberty County had in the fourth quarter. 13th overall, inbounds, back to LeCount, guarded by M.J. Walker. Missed the strip and the foul, but the foul by Lovett. It's his second. The 25 and a half. The 24-year-old head coach, Julian Stokes. Liberty County on the hole. The Kings hold their first championship in any sport. Dicey pass. It's a quick two. Down to 18 seconds. Remember, Jonesboro, they have to foul. They have no timeouts. Foul or timeout? Foul at 14.1. Liberty County in the fourth quarter to this point as Davion Mitchell sinks the first. 12 of 13 from the line. Mitchell has 14. He's on big time free throws here down the stretch there for Liberty County. MJ Walker tries to force something up. Doesn't happen. Gets his own rebound. They're running out of time as that ball circles the rim. Doesn't fall out of bounds at 1.9. But John, you can feel the energy here. I mean, just listen to this crowd, John. Just listen to this crowd. Liberty County coming home to the state championship here in 2016. 
Liberty County, first ever state title for the school and the county. And a 24-year-old shall lead them. Quad A champs, Julian Stokes, oh, cannot believe it. seen what the football players like number 23 can do. What do you think, Parker? Congratulations, Gilbert County, John. He just came out here, willed himself to a state championship. Just so proud of Coach Stokes and his ability to get these kids ready to play this game tonight. When we come back, a moment of history for Liberty County. The Quad A Championship Trophy presentation with Mark Harmon around the corner from Macon on the great GPB. The GHSA Basketball Championships are made possible in part by Regions Bank, it's time to expect more. Georgia's Electric Membership Corporation, lighting the way. Technical College System of Georgia, learn more, earn more. And by viewers like you, thank you. The GHSA would like to thank the Georgia Farm Bureau. As a strong, stable bank, Regions is always looking for opportunities to boost the vitality of our communities. In addition to offering financial solutions for our customers, we are committed to supporting local initiatives and organizations that help our neighborhoods thrive. Regions is proud to be a partner with GPB in building a better Georgia. Nothing prepares you better for a great career than the Technical College System of Georgia. TCSG colleges produce graduates with the knowledge and training today's top employers are looking for. With campuses across Georgia, state-of-the-art facilities, and outstanding instructors with real-world experience, it's the kind of affordable college education that will fast-track you into a rewarding career. We're building a better future for you. Contact the TCSG College in your area today or go to tcsg.edu. At the heart of our community are the businesses that don't skip a beat. Georgia's electric membership cooperatives stand behind local commerce. Whether keeping farms running or shining a light on new ventures, we bring business, large and small, to our communities. Creating jobs, driving development, supporting dreams. Georgia's EMCs, powering our businesses, lighting the way. Quad A State Championship Trophy to the Liberty County Panthers, and for that we turn it over to the Executive Director of the GHSA, Gary Phillip. Thank you, Mark. Coach, now get your head coach. Head coach. Coach, congratulations on your championship. Here's Mr. Flagg from Georgia Farm Bureau to present the trophy in the basketball. Congratulations on behalf of Georgia Farm Bureau. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Coach, it's been a great journey for your team. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. One loss only. You've got all the hardware in your hands. Talk about what this moment means to you and to your school. It's very, very special, man. This, this season is just unbelievable, man. It's a great group of kids. I knew we could do it all year long. We just had to prove it every single night we stepped out on the floor. We played a great team tonight. All right, we played a great team, but, you know, we came in, did what we had to do, and we taking this one back to Liberty County, baby. Hey, Davy and Mitchell. Davey, yeah. Talk a little bit about what this means to you out there. It was back and forth, back and forth, all the way to the final buzzer. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was hard. I mean, we had to keep, we had to keep working. I mean, they came out strong with us in the uh, second half. I mean, they played hard. I mean, it's a, it's a great team, too. I mean, we just worked hard. 
Richard LeCan, talk a little about the defensive effort because you really went wall to wall with a great player out there in MJ Walker. Oh man, that's a great basketball player, man. One of the best I ever played against and uh, a tough competitor always going at it and it was just my responsibility to really help uh, help my team win, man. And that's all I could do and, and if I contribute every night to doing that and stopping their best player, I could do it and go dogs. Talk a little bit about what the fans meant to you, all the folks in Hinesville, George, and what's going to happen down there tonight. Oh, man, it's a great feeling, man. Everyone, everywhere, man, they came out support us. We blacked out the whole gym. We got everybody else on our side, man. This is a great thing for Liberty County, man. We, we, we wish all the fans uh, a thank you and a safe ride back home. All right, Coach, you got all that hardware there. Just one final time. Talk a little bit about what this journey has meant for you and your ball club to win the state championship. And you got a lot of guys coming back for next year. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, it's wonderful, man. I, I'm speechless right now. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'll tell you what to say. You're number one. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, we'll be back again next year. We'll be back. We love being Congratulations, yes, the Liberty County Panthers, the Class 4A state champions. Congratulations. And now over to Jackie Britton.